and grow YouTube show. It's easy to be curious when things are good. Yeah, totally. Um, that's easy. When I'm feeling good, uh, you know, and this is something I don't really talk about. I, I talk about my mental health a little bit and I'm kind of open about it because I want other people to feel seen and heard. Mm -hmm. um, mental health is kind of taboo for no good reason. Um, but my mental health fluctuates pretty greatly. So when things are good and I'm feeling really high and energetic, it's easy to be curious. It's easy for me to get up and go outside or to like dance around when I see a plant flowering. Mm -hmm. When my mental health is really low and times are bad, I notice all the bad stuff. It's very easy to look at a plant that I'm like, oh, it's not as healthy as I think it could be. That doesn't matter. Like your whole scope changes so drastically. But how I hopefully re retain my curiosity is if I'm having a bad moment, if I'm having a low mental health day, or if there's just something really heavy in the world that like we have had for the last few years, if I can still get outside, I can find that window where I'm um, at least living in the present moment. You know, like I, I remember this moment a few weeks ago, I was having a horrible mental health week, um, just absolutely floored. And I, I lie down in bed and I was like, man, screw this day, screw everything. And I was just kind of like, just sulking. And I know I was like, God, it's so damn bright in this bedroom. I was like, ah, I can't sleep. I was getting so frustrated. And I looked outside and my greenhouse was fully illuminated. Everything, the light was bouncing that just snowed and there was a full moon. Mm -hmm. And I just sat there and I was like, I, I, it was just so still and it was freezing cold outside. And I was literally like, like <laughs> completely shirtless, like ready to go to sleep. And I was like, something inside of me said, get outside and just, just look at this for a minute. And I went outside didn't put on any extra clothes. I was like, screw it. I'm going to go outside. It was freezing cold. I was like, I'm feeling something looking at the moon. It was, it was magnificent. Mm -hmm. It was so magnificent. I woke my wife up. I said, Molly, I don't, you have to come out and see this. And um, that kind of stuff, like being able to stop long enough and realize that the world continues, nature continues. It's easy to retain curiosity in the low moments and still be okay with having a low moment or having a bad time and still acknowledge how beautiful something is, you know, like, like the world isn't less beautiful because you're having a bad day and you can have both at the same time. And I sat there and I was like, man, I'm depressed as hell. And this moon is absolutely rocking. Like I was able to have both of those. And that just comes down to giving yourself space. Uh, if you can allow yourself to have both of those and be okay with that sort of dichotomy, um, then life is a little easier. And that's kind of how I hopefully retain curiosity you know it's hard in the moment to to make space for that but um that's kind of my goal yeah Woof. that's beautiful thank you <laughs>